Hello everyone, welcome to my analysis video for Woohoo Island and why it should be legal in competitive Smash Ultimate. In this video, I will be providing my arguments for why Woohoo Island deserves to be legal, as well as rebuting the problems that people have with the stage. Anyways, let's get into the arguments. The first and biggest problem that people seem to have with the stage is sharking, since Men Knight dominated the Brawl Meadow with his amazing ability to shark, which led to many of the stages becoming banned, and the community overall becoming jaded towards the idea of sharking as a whole. Now, lucky for us, Woohoo Island is not your typical sharking stage. Uh, before I continue, I want to clarify something. When I say sharking, I do not mean dropping from ledge and just going through the race part with an attack, because that's essentially the equivalent of dropping from ledge, jumping, and attacking like you could do on any other stage. In terms of sharking, I mean going through the middle section of the stage, like on typical sharking stages. Uh, no, back to the argument. So since the ledges are curved up, it is more risky to drop from ledge in an effort to shark since that leaves yourself either recovering and landing in the middle of the stage open for a punish, or just hoping that your recovery is good enough to get back to the raised ledge. Many characters are entirely unable to shark, and most of the characters that can shark cannot do so both safely and effectively. Another aspect of the anti-sharking argument that I want to address is that it's not or that it's bad because you can hit your opponent when they try to recover through the middle. And this really isn't the best argument, because you always have the option to just not go through the stage and treat it like every other stage in the current stage list. And if there is an instance where you're forced to go through the stage, then most of the time it just means that you would have died on any other stage like Smashville. Uhu Island really just er it gives you another op recovery option and less so gives you like an effective offensive tool. So overall, I think the, the sharking argument is highly exaggerated, and I really don't think it'll be as much of a problem as people seem to think if Wuhu Island becomes legal. On, on other stages with sharking, like Skyloft and Halberd, I understand the argument, because it's much easier to shark consistently, and like I, I understand why people don't want these in the stage meta as much. The second main argument I see against Wuhu Island is recovering. Now, I would definitely say that Woohoo Island has its pros and cons for recovering, and I think that overall they balance out to a fair stage. From what I have seen, there are only a few characters that act differently when trying to recover normally. Again, I could be wrong, but many of the, many of the examples that I have seen are instances where the person would have died on any other stage as well and just blames Woohoo Island. Uh, however, Ike's side B as well as some other side Bs that send you horizontally do not grab the ledge as well on the stage, which is probably one of the most valid counterclaims to this stage that I have seen. And uh, this is one of the main reasons why I think that Woohoo Island should be a counterpick. No, I'm not going to act like it's perfect, it does have some flaws. Uh, I have tested this recovery option, and from what I have seen, you can't really grab the ledge if you are not actually in freefall yet with some characters, uh, or if you're just like too close to the ledge. Um, also, with Martha and Lucina, snapping to ledge is a bit more difficult, but with a bit of practice it isn't too hard. Um, the pros of the stage for recovering are that you can just go through the platform. It gives you an entire other, uh, recovery option. And in my opinion, this additional option balances some characters having one less option and makes it a decent stage. The last main argument against Woohoo Island is the size of the stage, even though stages like Kalos and Pokemon Stadium 2 are fine. The left and right bounds are negative 240 and 240, respectively, for Woohoo Island, Yet, they are negative 250 and 250 for Pokemon Stadium 2, meaning Woohoo Island's left and right blast zones are actually smaller. The same goes for the bottom blast zone, being negative 117 for Woohoo Island, and negative 125 for Pokemon Stadium 2. The only aspect of Woohoo Island that is bigger is the top blast zone, which is 213, compared to Pokemon Stadium 2's 180. So I would say that Woohoo Island being too big is not the best counter-argument. However, there, there is also the argument that the distance between the stage and Blast Zone is too small. And yes, it would be the smallest gap of, of all the legal stages, but not by a lot. Also, it would still be bigger than Worry Were. I would say that this is one of the biggest competitive flaws with the stage, but I would also argue that this fact makes the stage a good counterpick. Lastly, I asked on Twitter what some of the problems are, and I'll talk about some of the responses now. At Snake the Absol 2 gives a very detailed response of Volcano. A lot of people like this person have assumed that I am vying for the hazard version of Woohoo Island, which is incorrect. 
Hazards absolutely make the stage unsuited for competitive play because of some of the bad transformations. I love the stage with Hazards on, but it's just not the best. At Arc Tempest says Insta Spike, which I believe is referring to the part when you can just get one shot by the rock. This is a, a pretty common misconception about the stage, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this does not happen on the hazardless, hazardless version of the stage. At A Space Aussie says, The platform in the middle of the stage is the perfect height for Marth's tip. Snake's up tilt can't hit from the ground through the platform, unlike, battle, unlike on Battlefield. Now, I really don't think that this is a valid argument for banning a stage. You should know what moves your character can and can't use to go through a platform. Uh, thank you all for responding to that. Uh, I feel like most of the other responses have been covered throughout the video. Now that we have addressed the main arguments against the stage, let's talk about why the stage should be legal. First off, this stage easily has some of the best tracks in the game, the most notable being Ringeting, Wii Shop Channel, uh, Title Theme Wii Sports, and Wii Sports Resort. These songs are so great and would be a welcome change from the Smash 4 Animal Crossing music and now the overuse of the Smash Ultimate Pokemon music. Don't get me wrong, I love the Pokemon music, such as like Xenia's theme, but when it's the only music that people choose, it gets annoying and repetitive. That actually segues into my next point, which is keeping the game and the meta alive. In Smash 4, we slowly condensed the stage list until every set just started and ended on Smashville and Town and City, but if we as a community are more willing to accept stages that might not be perfect but can still provide a good competitive atmosphere, then we can increase the chances that Smash Ultimate will have a long lifespan in the fighting game scene. Now, my personal stage list would have 10 stages and 2 or 3 bands. I'm not honestly sure which would be better. For starters, my list has Battlefield, Final Destination, Smashville, Town and & City, and Pokemon Stadium 2. For counterpicks, I have Kalos Pokemon League, Yoshi's Island, Yoshi Story, Lilac Cruise, albeit reluctantly, and of course, Woohoo Island. Woohoo Island should be a counterpick in uh, Starter simply because of the slightly odd proportions of the stage and, of course, the recovering. I would include WarriorWare on this list, as I think it provides a good counterpick for the slower characters in this in a stage list with fairly big stages, but WarriorWare has seen more testing than most potentially viable stages, and people did not seem to like it. It's a fun stage, but you can kill too early. I, I would also include Unova Pokemon League, but I think that would tip the scale into too many big stages, and Kalos and Woohoo are better stages in my opinion. I would argue that shifting stage lists would really benefit the game, including other stages such as Pokemon Stadium 1, Fountain of Dreams if they fix the lag, uh, Unova Pokemon League, and Dreamland 64 that can rotate in and out with the stage list. In conclusion, I honestly don't know why the stage isn't legal. We had Skyloft legal for a bit, which is much easier to circle camp on and shark on, and it also has worse blast zones, so why can't we try it Woohoo Island? It is easy to say that stage shouldn't be legal and just dismiss it right away, but Woohoo was never even discussed as being a, sta a legal stage. It is a unique, hype, fun to watch stage that deserves to see its chance in the competitive scene. Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at LegalizeWoohoo and come join my Discord to chat about Woohoo Island. Uh, the link will be in the description along with the link for my Woohoo Island shirts. Hashtag LegalizeWoohoo Island.